what is VToken? Let's first introduce staking derivatives. What are they? Understanding this is the key to grasping the concept of VETH. Staking derivatives are a representative token of an underlying asset or security. In our case, it is the chain's native asset Ether. Derivative assets can be traded at any time and can be used in decentralized finance applications. Utilizing staking derivatives allows you to secure the network and use your liquidity and DeFi applications. As a Polkadot ecosystem, DeFi protocol, Bifrost's primary goal will be to provide liquid staking and use staking derivatives VToken to provide liquidity for various PaaS networks. Let's take a look at how Bifrost defines VToken and all the benefits and features of VToken. What is a VToken? A voucher token is referred to as a V-token, a kind of Polkadot or dual protocol asset minted by users using pledgeable native assets for the Bifrost network. V-token represents the ownership and income rights of the original pledge. You can obtain the underlying asset by holding and redeeming the derivative. The income generated by the asset is a packed one-to-one -one with the underlying native asset, which means you're earning staking rewards while you're holding your VToken derivatives. In addition to unlocking liquidity and generative staking rewards, VToken has the following features. Traceability, governance, cross-chain, full reserve, replaceable, and full scenario. VToken revenue. In the introduction, we learned that VToken represents the ownership and income rights of the original pledge. So, how do VTokens settle the revenue in a decentralized manner while still accurately tracking the staking rewards? Bifrost believes that adding compatible scenarios for derivatives is the key. So a VToken revenue settlement method is designed to be compatible with both centralized and decentralized use cases. In a centralized scenario, a third party can support the exchange and use of VToken without additional development. Simultaneously, users who host VToken in a centralized hot wallet or cold wallet can still benefit from the generated by VToken. This is because VToken eliminates the traditional on-chain transaction settlement method and raises the coin price to complete VToken income settlement. Therefore, to avoid subsequent users from sharing previous users' income, users who enter in different period will follow the current moment's coin price. Let's take some examples on how VToken distributes interests. We assume that Alice minted 100 dot to 100 V dot and hold it for one year. The staking APY is 10% and the price ratio of dot and V dot is 1 to 1. Under the normal way, Bifrost should distribute 10% of 100 dot interest to Alice account. So that is 10 V dot plus 100 V dot equals to 110 V dot in total. Alice has 110 V dot now and her assets total value increased from $1,000 to $1,100 but the price ratio between dot and V dot is still one to one. Under buy first way the 10% of staking APY will be added to the price increase of V dot. So the price ratio between dot and V dot is $10 to $11 equals 100% to 110%. Bifrost doesn't need to distribute DOT to Alice's account and her total asset is $1,100 now, but the number of VDOT is still 100. Now the price of VDOT is $11 and Bob means 100 VDOT. His total cost of mint is $1,100 which equals 110 DOT. After one year, the price of VDOT raises to $12. The total value of 100 VDOT equals $1,210 now and Bob can redeem 121 DOT. He gets 11 DOT more as 10%. APY staking rewards. After understanding the settlement of VToken revenue, now that we've explained how VToken revenue is settled, 
Our next article will delve into how vToken revenue is generated and given information on how our security and slashing mechanisms keep the Bifrost network secure.